Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we're going to be doing long division, specifically long division with decimals. Not just dividing, like this guy with this pi, but actually dividing when we have decimals in the dividend and in the divisor. We'll start out by taking this question here. The question says 5.81 divided by 7. So our dividend here, 5.81, has a decimal. But fortunately, our divisor does not. In this case, we will write the equation out first by putting the original number, the number that went first inside, and the number that goes second, our divisor on the outside of our division symbol. Now, because the divisor does not have a decimal, we're going to actually just bring the decimal up. All right, if there's no decimal on this outside number, we just bring the decimal up and divide like normal. So let's go ahead and divide this like normal. First, we take our first number, 5. How many times does 7 go into 5? 0. 7 can't go into 5. 5 is smaller than 7, so we can't do anything. We'll put a 0 up there. Now let's look at the next number, 5 and 8. 58. How many times does 7 go into 58? Well, it goes 8 times, because 7 times 8 is 56. So that 8 times 7 is 56. And then we'll subtract to see what we have left over. Um, we have 2 left over. So 7 goes into 5.8, 0 .8, 0.8 times, and we have 2 left over, 0 0.2 left over. We'll bring the 1 down to finish solving this problem. How many times does 7 go into 21? Well, it goes evenly 3 times. 3 times 7 is 21. When we subtract, we end up with a 0. In other words, it's completely solved and evenly goes into there. So 5.81 divided by 7 gives us an even 0 0.83. All right, again, we have a decimal in the dividend here, and that just goes up right here, when you have no decimal in the divisor. Now, the next question we're going to look at has a decimal in both numbers. And to do this question, we have to do an extra step. Let's take a look at it. First of all, we'll, we'll set up our question, putting the first number that we see inside and the second number we see on the outside. All right, it's kind of like crisscrossing. Now, we can't have a decimal on the outside. That just makes it really difficult and really challenging. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bump the decimal one place. All right, I've heard it said like uh, put the ball to the wall, you know, like, I don't know, sports or whatever. Okay, put the ball to the wall. So you bring it over. In this case, we had to move the decimal over one place. We can't just do that to the outside term. We have to do that to the inside number as well. So we're going to move it one place. If you had to move the decimal two places, you would have to move it two places on the inside as well. But in this case, we're moving it one place on the outside, so we'd also move it one place on the inside. And now we just bring that decimal up from that place, set it up here, and divide like normal. All right, how many times does 8 go into 4? It can't go into 4, but can 8 go into 41? Sure it can. 8 goes into 41 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40. We'll subtract 41 minus 40 gives us the 1 that's left over. We're going to take our 6 and bring that down. How many times does 8 go into 16? 8 goes into 16 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. We subtract, and we're given a nice, clean number at the end. Again, this lesson was not showing us division with a remainder or with um, a decimal answer or a decimal um, a dividend. But what it was showing us was that when you have a decimal in either the divisor or the dividend, it's possible to do long division, just remembering our rules. All right? If you've got a decimal only on the inside, you just bring it up. If you've got a decimal on the outside, you bump it over to the right until it hits this wall. Then you move the decimal on the inside the same number of spaces and then divide like normal. I hope that that review has been helpful for you and you have a wonderful day.